The next thing I want to show you guys is the morphological operations and some working and tweaking with binary images. That means black and white. And then I'm going to teach you the famous edge function and of course the contour and field contour. And I will leave it to you to explore other syntaxes for image processing. Okay, let's begin. Let's get the gray image first. Then let's binarize it. I black and white equals I am binarize I. I black and white. So now we know something new that we cannot turn an RGB three dimensional image into a black and white image with this command. So we have to turn it into grayscale. That's why every time I want to do some image processing, the first step is turning the image into grayscale. So we have a version of it, a 2D version of it. So let's try that again. Okay, this is your I am binarized. This is your 2D image. Actually, let's check what else we can do here. If we can find it quick. Global or adaptive. Okay. What else? Foreground polarity, sensitivity can be between zero and one. So this is what I was looking for. The sensitivity is 0.5 by default. So let's change that. See if we can do it like this. Oh, yes, we can, but we don't need the brackets, actually. So this is the default. You will see later why learning to play with the black and white image is important for these morphological operations that I'm going to teach you. So you see, you can play with it. OK. Now, the good thing about this one is that I can actually see the color without any interruption. You can see the direct coupling. Now, let's see what else we can do. Global. How about adaptive? Okay. So let's go back to where it was. Maybe a little more. Okay. So morphological operations. For example, as you see in the lecture notes, we have two famous morphological operations. First of them is erosion. And the other one is dilation. So erosion basically does minimum and dilation does maximum. For example, the best way to show it is here. Look at this. This shape that you see, this X shape is what we call your structural element. So this is the mass that moves through your image matrix. 
You can determine its size, its shape, for example, diamond shape, rectangular disc, whatever, circular. And it moves with the determined size, iterates through the matrix. Uh, I don't know if it iterates column wise like this or it iterates row wise like this. Sorry, vice versa, column wise and row wise. So you have to read up on that. Remember that. In MATLAB, uh, many of the functions are either element-wise, uh, column-wise, or row-wise. And before you actually use the syntax, you have to learn that. For example, you want to use uh, the max function, the min function, the median function, all the statistic functions, or standard deviation, or whatever. You need to know if it is moving column-wise or row-wise, depending on how your data is structured and how you want it to be interpreted. So remember that. So going back to morphological operations, as you can see here, the dilate takes the maximum of the neighborhood it intercepts. So white is one, of course, and black is zero. So dilation, if it comes through this contact, it turns it into foreground, which is white. And erosion does exactly the same opposite. Now, there is another command called I am open and I am close, which is actually a combination of two. So this one, I am open first erodes and dilates, and this one does the opposite. So let's work with this. First, let's try erosion. Okay. We want to... I black and white two, for example, use I am erode, I black and white. So this won't work. Not enough input arguments. So the structural element that I told you, we make it with this function. So we can actually choose the shape of it. For example, disc, octagon, rectangle, cube, cuboid, pretty awesome. Can choose anything you want. We can choose disk, which is pretty good. And now the size of it, for example, five. Let's see if we did it right. Yes. So it makes a square matrix. We forgot, I forgot to put it here. Okay. Let's see these together. Okay, let's see what changes we have. So these lines got a little thicker, as you can see in this area. So this is the reason that you should remove the tick values here and here, and you should also remove the color board before you do any heavy duty uh, image processing on it. So let's see what happened. Okay, let's remember again. What did I am Eero do? I am Eero took the minimum of the neighborhood. So imagine your disk moves here, it moves here. Okay, it sees some black, right? So here it moves and says white, 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 white. So the minimum of maximum is minimum, right? So minimum of one is one. Okay. So it moves here, it says one, 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 zero. A lot of one here in this boundary and some zero here. So it moves here. Remember that this image is an 840 by 1120 pixels. So the structural element that we use, five by five, is pretty small. And if it's small, it cannot capture a lot of changes, but it is very precise. And if you make it bigger, it's going to act more globally than locally, which is obvious, right? So your structural element moves here, sees some white and sees some black. Black wins. So that's why in this image, you can see more black here between the boundaries of foreground and back background. But the structural element is small, so it doesn't change that dramatically. Now, let's make it bigger, like 50. Okay, now erosion is in place. 
Now let's do this for the next one for dilation. I am dilate. Okay. Now what does I am dilate do? I am dilate moves the structural elements. Uh let's let's suppose it moves column wise for the sake of this example. So it moves here, it sees some black here, and it's still some white here. So it takes the maximum. The maximum of a bunch of ones and some bunch of zeros is definitely one. So it removes the black ones here. So this can actually come very handy in some image processing, depending on the problem you're facing. So let's make it smaller. And you can see that the change, the lines got thinner. Now, the next thing is the combination of the two. I am open. So I am open, let's read it again. First erodes and then dilates. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. Oh, as you can see that there's not much change. Let's make the structure element bigger so we can capture anything. Okay, as you can see, that is completely messed up. And these parts of foreground are completely morphed into background because it uses, it operates with erosion and then dilation. So the erosion part basically takes care of this part and seals it shut to black. And basically there's not much else for the second part of the syntax to operate. So let's use, I am close. The exact opposite is happening here, as you can see. 